Let's take a few minutes and talk about Kobe for contractors. Although there is quite a bit of information available, it's difficult to know where to begin. This video can provide a useful introduction to Kobe for contractors. The first thing to know is, what is Kobe? Kobe is the list of all the managed and maintained assets in the building, so that's spaces and equipment. Kobe is an information exchange format. That means that there's information, the information about the managed assets in the building, and there's a way to exchange that information. That's the envelope, the packaging of the Kobe data. In this video, we're going to focus on the contents and not the envelope. Since Kobe contains information about the managed assets in the building, it's pretty easy to see that the contractor is already responsible to deliver those as paper handover documents. Let's look at a few examples. Here are three excerpts from actual construction specifications. The first one requires the contractor to deliver a complete set of all installed equipment and include the catalog, manufacturer, model, serial number, and a variety of other kinds of information. The next specification section describes the requirements for preventive maintenance, condition monitoring, and inspection schedules. At the bottom of the page is a requirement for the contractor to deliver information about spare and replacement parts. Specifications also require that warranty tags be placed on individual pieces of equipment and that a detailed set of information about warranty repairs, points of contact, and so forth also be provided. Along with the installed equipment, the contractor is also required to deliver a complete set of all of the nameplate information. Information about rooms and doors is also required to be delivered. Here are two examples related to the hardware schedule and signage. For contractors, a great way to think about Kobe is that it's really just a single standard format for submittals related to equipment and spaces. Let's see how a Kobe spec requires submittal data to be delivered. One section of this spec calls for Kobe formatted submittals, so they're regular construction submittals simply formatted in a way that's consistent with a Kobe deliverable. These specification paragraphs call for the delivery of an as-installed equipment schedule, warranty tags, spare parts. The point of these Kobe specifications is that we remove the information from the paper documents that are already having to be produced and we're providing it in one common standard format so that the information is actually helpful for someone at the end of the project. In the standard submittal process, the contractor and every subcontractor has to recreate this information over and over again for each submittal. Using Kobe as a way to standardize this information can reduce manual data entry for the contractor. This will not only decrease the cost of producing the submittals themselves, the information necessary for construction handover will have already been created once during the official submittal process. Let's start by looking at this example fan schedule. Let's look at three of the columns of the fan schedule and see how those translate into the basic Kobe component data. So in the Kobe component worksheet, we have column A, the name of the fan, column D, which is the type of fan, and column E, which is the room that it's located in. Now let's unhide columns J through O of the Kobe component worksheet. Once we do that, you can see that we have the design information on the left-hand side and the construction information on the right-hand side. You can now see how these Kobe columns really just come from different construction submittals, such as the installed equipment list, warranty start dates, or tag lists. To develop the signage schedule, the contractor can simply take the Kobe space worksheet and look at the room tag column. Signage submittals then can simply be provided in the Kobe room tag column of the space worksheet. But it's not the case that contractors have to use Kobe directly. Many contractors can use the software that they're already using and get the Kobe data as a side effect of doing Kobe-based submittals. Let's talk about a few of these solutions for construction. Since July of 2008, the National Institute of Building Sciences, through the Building Smart Alliance, which is the U.S. chapter of the Building Smart International, has been testing software for construction. Here's the software that's been tested. Construction MEP fabrication software has also been tested against Kobe requirements. Some commercial products offer part of their solution for free to support Kobe. Other contractors might want to try Google Docs. Tools for quality checking of Kobe files are also available for free. 
I hope that this video has helped you get some basic answers to questions about Kobe for contractors. Thanks for joining me.